I like to have Jessica's、uh, consciousness to go to this planet, which I saw、um, in my psychedelic journey, and it's hard to describe. But there's it seems like there's a gate to right. That's the first step to open the gate, and then、uh, when I look, is basically what I can say is everything possible and everything not possible is there. And it's very exciting, and I was fascinated. So I want you to be there to explore and see if there's such place. When I count to three, you'll be there. One, two, and three. Take your time. It really feels like a Barbie planet. Barbie. Yeah, and I become someone who looks like a doll.、Oh, tell me more. Cannot really walk in it. Mm. Okay, you move. Just through consciousness. If I think about a place, I get there. So, when you look at it in this entire thing, what do you see? Dolls. Dolls. There's jungle.、Mm-hmm. Private party beaches. What is the the jungle for? It's because you have a lot of different birds, birds? but they are invisible. So it's. So I only hear the sound. I think the sound is very important on this planet, almost like sound, music, healing, or something.、Mm-hmm. What kind of sound? Because right now I just hear different forest sounds, like monkeys, the water, the birds, the winds blowing. And even though the Barbie doesn't really resonate with me, but I think it's the way that it's appearing to me, sending me a certain message. Let me know the message. That it's okay to sort of live like that in a way, because I, I've always sort of rejected my experience on Earth because it feels fake to me,、mm-hmm. like a doll. Yeah. But it showed me that there's, it's not that serious. You just,、mm-hmm. just play. What is wrong with being a doll? You just play.、Mm-hmm. And it's not really meant to be that serious. It's still can be an enjoyable experience. So now the sound has stopped, and I'm like、uh, being taken underwater. I、mm. see what's in the water. Like almost getting so deep、mm-hmm. that there's so much pressure around my chest,、uh-huh. and that to really grow. Yeah, I still feel the pressure. Yeah, you grow because of the pressure. No, it's like there are invisible forces that's like shaking me. And throw me around. I don't know what's going on. Give yourself some time. And then I look down. It's just endless, bottomless pit. Now it just turns to a pool that you will find in a Barbie movie. It before it did. It just screams at me. You're taking everything too seriously. So what's the color of the water? It was all dark before. Now it's just clear. Because it's just showing me, you think you're drowning, but once you stand up, you're above the water. Oh, that's not deep. It's not. You, I made it deep because it was.、No. Because you were too serious. I was too serious. And so, what do you see? They all, how to say, dolls or? It's just me. I'm alone in the jungle again in a pool. Let's see what you can do there. To also not reject the experience of romantic love, I guess,、mm. keeps coming up.、Uh-huh. We're not supposed to reject anything. But I still have so much fear around being hurt, or.、Mm-hmm. And ask them what you can do to overcome. Just, just do it.、Mm. Just experience it. If you're afraid of being hurt, you're. Again, I know we keep talking about this. <laughs> If you're afraid of being hurt, you focus on. The being hurt part of a romantic relationship. You don't see the other sides of it that it can offer. But also to accept my identity as the fake doll I think I am, and just just to really live life through that, not to reject my experiences. Yeah. Every time I go to your planet, I just see something for me. <laughs> yes, because they they are saying, okay, why not? I take this opportunity to heal, right? To change. It's a little bit cheesy, but yeah. When there was another doll that joined, yeah, sat down, and I sort of said, "Okay, I'll be open to love." 
you know i hugged and then it's like my body changed to a flesh body i was no longer a doll and then the back and then the environment changed too it's like a city now lots of cars a lot of light looks like new york city yeah but i know it's not new york city just people talking having fun so what happened why all of a sudden change to this i don't know i know something might be difficult for us to understand it feels it's like i should magic. be here yeah i'm not so you're doing maybe time travel maybe it's like somewhere in asia maybe shanghai yeah 2030 2030 I'm more and more things keep coming up see you are doing that. sunny day 73 degrees like in april oh my god yeah more and more things come okay sounds very exciting 2030 I, oh. they can see you or now they can now i'm it was like a barbie city now I'm in the actual city so when you them they uh, look at you or they you leave your you switch to them no they feel like i'm a part of them they i look very out of place or strange uh -huh. i feel very out of place never lived in a city like this before uh -huh. what's happening there i'm just running mm -hmm. my morning run so you live there <laughs> maybe this is your parallel life maybe it feels like I live there. What are you wearing? White sweater, and then like a t-shirt that is a little bit yellow, baby yellow, and then some shorts and running shoes. You look like you or different? Mm, I can't tell. Can you just uh, move your consciousness to the spot? That's it looks like me. Yeah? It doesn't feel like 2030. Uh, feels like now feels everything feels like now like the only moment is now so can you ask people this is uh, 2030 or if you have a, a, a device mm, phone oh, okay my iphone 17 <laughs> that makes sense still purple so whenever that is coming out i don't even know what iphone we're up to now mm -hmm. the iphone looks different the camera is larger it seems like what's yeah, it's 2030. I don't know. It's just... If you do the calculation, right? It's about seven, six years later. So right now it's an iPhone. <gasps> so it is six years later in 2030. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, but this is not... It's a different version of you. I, I've been living here for five years, apparently. So you're moving to Shanghai? I don't know if this is parallel me or so this is can you, me. Yeah, check, go within and to... I'm getting really emotional though. Okay, don't hold back. They're saying we won't get in because there's a story for me to experience. Don't get in? They're not allowing me to see closer because they're mm. saying there's a story I have to experience fully. Uh -huh. But what made you feel emotional? Because it's something that will affect me greatly. And just ask them, is this the same version of Jessica? Who do I ask? I don't know anyone. Someone you feel you have connection with. Maybe you can... No, you're not going to find Naomi there. Feels like this is me. But it's a little bit weird. I don't feel like I belong there. So do you speak the language? I don't know. Um, if I have been living here for five years, I guess I do speak the language. Mm -hmm. But you're not allowed to know what made you come. No, now they take me out because I can't ask anymore. But they just say, keep listening to your heart. Let your heart beat louder. Because that's the music you should be beating to. Yeah. Okay. But it's not a set in stone because it's still possibilities are changing mm, but that feels a little bit like a life plan and so when you're running do you feel you're running alone or i'm running alone that's why i feel so tired right now <sighs> okay where are you now back to the jungle no because when you asked that question i got brought back to the i'm i'm a, a bit of water there's a trail along a body of water it's in the city Oh. The sun is shining so bright. Yeah. 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. in the morning. I was apparently jogging. I don't think I'll ever jog, but 
I'll be open to that. Really feel like I'm, yeah, maybe it is jogging because my legs feel tired. Also because I want to just get some sun. This is summertime. Feels like I'm wearing like shorts. It's around April, but it's in Shanghai, so it's oh. probably hot. Yeah, April, April, I think. I don't, yeah, it feels and like April. So let's find out who you know. Who is the person that you have contact? Connection with? Where do you work? I don't know if you have a job. Where do I work? What do you do? I'm a creative director. Of, I, of what? Something about working with brands so they can have the, the right intention in the right place. Mm -hmm. Because the, the media messaging affects the people. Something like that. So I work in communicating, communication, but visually, I don't know, I have to, I can't even get to my office right now. Because? Really not allowing me to move, but I can only put my consciousness in that body and visualize from memory. I have a desk, it's a white chair, it looks like Herman Miller. It's in a really well lit place with brick walls, very high ceilings, and the windows are like the entire, from, from ceiling to ground. And I have like a lot of people reporting to me. And you feel happy? I feel happy because I feel like I'm actually making a difference in my own way uh -huh. while being myself. It's not only that, but because I'm challenging myself to become a very positive supervisor uh -huh. that can have a good impact on the people I work with. So I can lead them, not yet, so not lead, but to have an at least a positive effect on them so that they can again if i affect them they affect other people and then the other people affect me even more people so why you need to do this in a foreign country in this particular city i don't know who do i ask oh now someone's showing me yeah because the energy is changing and then in order to fill in mm -hmm. and it certain energy placements on an energy grid, we need certain people on certain places. So there could be a chance I, I even move back. I don't know that far yet. They're telling me it really depends on which energy is needed in which place. So who is this B? Very long coat, I can't see the face. Uh -huh. Keeper of the grid is, is what I'm getting, yeah. And maybe you can ask if this is going to happen for sure. 93, 95%, oh. who knows? That's a little bit too far for me. So, if not there, then London, but I don't know about London. They're saying New York City will be okay by then. What does it mean okay by then? What is okay? There is enough balance of positive and negative energy uh -huh. Uh -huh. that some people, not, not just me, uh -huh. will have to sort of move in order to help balance out energies in so, other places. I want you to take a look at that time. 2030 so the open contact on earth happened already they don't tell me <laughs> so people are more open-minded the feeling i get is yes and they will be even more because i'm also i think i'm also doing other things not just like that it feels really different maybe you can peek i'm attending conferences not as speaker but as just attendee a lot of it has to do with like energy, energy healing. Okay. Yeah. And so how you can go back to the jungle or to the, to the pool? I just go back. Oh. You can just do that? Yeah. With yeah, that I'm back now. Yeah. Uh -huh. And let's see a little bit more what you can do, what this planet is about. It has a lot of natural, like nature, and it feels like a lot of the plants that are being grown are like herbs so it's like medicine mm. yeah i know it always uh, there's something related to healing even the water is like something sparkling yeah so how you slipped into the other reality can you find out suddenly everything around me changed but it's uh -huh. a little bit too weird for me to believe in that at the moment so everything changed Right now? No, no, no. Okay, I can't say that. Otherwise, everything will change. I'm back in the, in the pool in the forest. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Because when that happened, everything around me just changed, and I was in a different place. Right. And you don't know 
what made that happen? Yeah. Mm. Right. It was actually after I hugged someone. Oh, right. And then I turned into human, and then everything around me started changing. Mm. So, is there anyone can guide you? Alto said he's coming. <laughs> I was going to ask. And let me know what he's uh, he's on anything, or he doesn't need anything. He's not on a bicycle. He has the goggles on. Why he needs a go goggle? To, I think he's saying this planet is a little bit further away, 800 million light years. 800 million. Hold on, but the other one is further. The other, the other 7,000 billion. Oh, I don't know. He's this one 800 million light years away. And ask him what this planet is about. He's saying, don't ask me, experience it for yourself. Oh, okay. So you explore. This. But then he's also saying, what do you want to know? Mm. You tell him what you can do. What is the fun place? So everything is fun here. Oh. What is the name? Yeah, we just need a name so we can know yes. to come. L A Y I I K I K. So how's it pronounced? La I don't know. It's kind yeah, of weird. La yeah. So what is the meaning? He just what? <laughs> That's what I say. You just made. It. He made a yes because he's saying we don't really use names we just know where to go but if you want to find this place yeah. but how come other planets have names he doesn't know so let him take you to a fascinating place or on a road on his motorcycle what he's wearing a trench coat he's still wearing a trench coat in this weather but there is no weather right. actually it's, it's comfortable yeah, it's calm. Just it's very right. feels really, really good too. And so the sky, what is the color? Light blue. Uh huh. It sort of resembles Earth. Oh, as clouds. Yes, very little. And what's on the ground? Just like the road, but something about this planet it has a melody to it. Uh -huh. Something about music and sound uh -huh. on this planet uh -huh. is the healing aspect. Yeah, something about music. There's like, there's a planet background music that you're always, that's always there. Mm -hmm. So where the music is coming from? It just exists. We just hear it. So where is Naomi? In the, in the main building. What I do? You're welcoming tourists and then you're giving them their passport. <laughs> Administrative office. A fake passport? Yeah, fake passport. Uh, what I but on the passport it's... Yeah, what's the name? <laughs> It's not, it's not said. Yeah. It starts with the R. R. Keep going. And then it's a vowel, but I can't see what. R-H-I-U-M-B-U-S. Yeah, how do you pronounce? I don't know. E at the end. Ask <sighs> Naomi how to pronounce it. You start, you, it's hard to pronounce it in English. It's like a melody. You have to sing the name. <laughs> the R is a hard R, a rose, a R, like ah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Try to sing it. No. <laughs> and what is the meaning? To know what it is. Oh. So ask her what is the purpose to create this? Is that a different version of you? tell me it's like you not what I wear black button-up pants okay. very casual so what is uh, what me do because you wanted a vacation from earth but Anasaki is not enough there's nothing wrong with creating more is what you're saying so do you let's say you Jessica stays here sometimes no, I don't stay. It's my first time coming here, actually. <laughs> when your whole world comes apart, feel free to come here. What? When your whole world falls apart, ah. feel free to come here. <laughs> is what you're saying. Perfect. I think that makes a lot of sense. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying in what language? In English, but you're very sarcastic about it. Oh, why? Oh, because in English is such a... Sad. I don't know because maybe that's what I understand. That's how what we're using to speak. But but they have a, their language. They have their own language, yeah. Uh, and so, what other people look like? 
besides dolls? There's a fat, bald man in a Hawaiian shirt. That's John. Sorry. Who's John? Oh no 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 no! That's not John. This is this one's. He's a different person. Okay. Not sure who this person is. Find out from Naomi. Oh, maybe ask the tour for... guide. Ah, perfect. And so ask Naomi. What's her name there? What does that mean? T U B A. Yeah. It's just a name. He said, "I don't know. I just chose it." Oh, okay. All right. So, what the tour guide? I want to take you to. You have like fruits on your planet. Fruits. Fruits. Yeah. yeah. What's the color and shape? It's like energy. It's like light that grows from trees. No. What's yeah. the color? There's green. There's yellow. There's white. You can taste it. Mm, no, because I need to know what they're used for. The green is for healing love, allowing love through. Yeah, so you need that. Yeah, <laughs> give me a dose. He said, nope, I have to earn it. Okay. Oh, how to earn it? See the change within yourself. Be the change you want to see within yourself. Don't just sit there expecting you to be healed. And see the change. Yeah, be the change. Mm. I have to work for it. <laughs> okay, the tour guide. Can you talk with him? Yeah, he's cool. Yeah. What did he say? What else do I want to know? Yeah. Because he said, "Hey, this is experience is really catered to what you want to know and find out. Mm. It's not like it just exists." Okay. So you want to know, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What What is uh, the? How to say? What is the concept? What is uh, this planet? Paradise planet, pretty Naomi's own Earth. Your own version of Earth. So it's like, if I'm right, yeah. not happy with things here, I can yeah. just go there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When everything is falling apart, you go there. So do I come? I mean, probably in my dream. You said you come to this planet the most often when you're dreaming. What I do there? Because you're writing books, writing scriptures. Books. Yeah, like you have a library of your own thing. I'm not allowed to go in. Okay. Who would read the books? You. Only me. And your other versions of yourself. Alright, is there any fun place? Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mm. Something yeah. about that. You want to try that? Oh, the tour guide. What's his name? Mr. T, Mr. E? I don't know. So he looks like human. He has a human form. But he's not, he's still not really human. So... He's actually one of your spirit guides. Now he just looks like Arthur, straight up. Oh. Maybe Arthur's your spirit guide, I don't know. Maybe Arthur's another version? Arthur's another version, yeah. So what's... Uh, his name is Arthur? No, he said, no, don't call me that. <laughs> Mr. T. <laughs> Not T, okay. And... Yeah, anyway, he doesn't guide me much. So he has time. He said he's managing the planet for you. Hmm. He's a manager. He's manager. Oh. And what is... So who comes here? People, but within your soul group who knows about this planet and come here for they want to experience their own paradise also oh, people can receive healing of course resting is healing mm, I see. so ask him uh, mr what t mr t <laughs> i don't know why he has this name <laughs> what is uh, the, the t represents it's how t is written here mm. that he's saying yeah it's a different way Right, T? No, how T is written in English. Yeah. He likes the shape. Ah, okay. All right, so my question is let's say if I, when I'm doing hypnosis session, if I take clients to, I can't pronounce it, to this planet. Yes. They can rest and they can. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so Mr. T can help them? Yeah. He's saying you can take them to the pool and then once they start to visualize what happens from the pool, their whole world would fall apart, but it's really what they think is their world, but it's just their beliefs that they need to let go of oh. in order for this new world to come in, which is a part of their original plan, part of what they their soul want experience. Okay, so how about your experience? It was that, it will show them, to show you what can be possible when you take people here. Uh -huh. But ask Mr. T that your experience there, right? You went to Shanghai. Yeah, he said, yeah, this is your experience. So everyone will have their own experience. He says, bingo. 
But he's telling you to like start from the pool, you're in the pool, surrounded by this jungle, and then just ask people like what happens, what do they see, who do they see if that's possible. Just anything can be possible because that's just what they need to start from and then something happens where the jungle will just fall down and then their new world would emerge. Yeah. So they will visualize or they, they will experience. They will experience it but to some degree. So that will change their perspective yeah or expand their consciousness yeah but they have to be at a place where they're not so no wonder this planet feels most lonely you know i feel like yeah. they have to be in a place where they are already connected with their soul mm -hmm. purpose and their heart mm -hmm. yeah so it's uh, kind of a certain people a bit because if you take people who are this is what i'm hearing from like mm -hmm. If you take people who are confused about their own life, they will be even more confused if you take them there. I see. So, Jessica, you haven't been here? I haven't because you have to be ready for a change. You have to be ready for your world now to fall apart and to embrace a new chapter or adventure. Mm. But let's say if someone doesn't have that kind of a situation, their world is not falling apart. It's when they say their world is falling apart, it's not like their world is falling apart. It's more like you are ready for a change to be a different type of you. Yeah. Yeah. So Jessica is ready. I guess I'm ready. Sure. You're right. It's an interesting concept. I don't know if you take other people here, they will have like similar experience. Because they might become more confused. Oh, yeah, maybe. But So what? what where's Alto? Does he says guide this planet? He just takes people here if yeah. he is needed. But because a lot of healing work, the prerequisite healing work is something that you have to do on your own. Mm. Not yeah. So it's like you have to earn it. Okay. So what you can do to earn that? The green fruit. Keep oh. listening to your heart space and be the experience. Be the experience. I'll be ready for just be in the state of flow, just accepting life as it goes. Be able to, you know, withstand the waves of it and then be able to stand still in the wave like you're in a pool and not you're not you're, you're not you're standing in a pool. Yeah, yeah, that's so, what they showed me at first, too. So maybe this is not the one, but I saw, um from outside there's a gate maybe there's a gate i just didn't see it you you saw it didn't see it right. because i just went so ask uh, mr t he said i at least earned the right to be in the pool i already have my passport ah so that's why she has to right? maybe she maybe your building is the gate i don't know ah, what what the building is like it's a looks like a library and then you're sitting right in the middle do you have a big table and then you're saying it's like immigration office <laughs> it's custom your custom yeah you're checking their password do you are you ready to be here <laughs> but how they can approve you approve it I, I can sense the energy on their password it says about their profile but of course i can't i don't understand it <laughs> because profile. i can't everyone has a profile yeah like not not like your name age or like your soul mm -hmm. profile yeah yeah. So how they, um, where they... You have to walk through a machine and then print it out. Wow. Oh. You have a machine in the oh, front. So, so the, 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 the uh, according to your energy? Yeah, you have to walk through the machine. Wow. Oh. Scans your energy and then gives you a profile. Wow, oh, so interesting. So there are people who are disqualified? Yes, there are lots of people lining up actually. Mm. So they're, they, they're not sure they can be... There's like a Ray, a Raymond there. What? There's a ray. N not not someone actually, because I don't get that feeling. Yeah. Someone you know. I don't know. Okay, what, maybe what, not. What are you talking about? Okay. Maybe it's not relevant. So, so I there are a lot of people up. are waiting? I keep hearing Ray, Raymond, but that's... Raymond? The same name that I picked up two weeks ago or something like that. Raymond? The guy holding the, the child. Oh. Wasn't his name also Raymond? I don't remember. Yeah, it was that. So he is there. He's you can talk to him. He say, I know you. He says, because you've been here, I just want to see and check it out. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And so what is... He's like just following me around, really. Oh. He likes to follow you? Yeah, he just follows me. 
Oh, that rumor.、Okay. Yeah, that one.、Mm -hmm. So ask him. Now is the time to find out. Is he my spirit guide or something? Because yeah, he, he says to make sure nothing bad happens to my body. Ask him. Are you my guide? He said he's half. Oh. Because I remember he said he was also on Earth. Yes. So the child is about a future child. Your future child. Future child that didn't make it, made the abortion. Oh. Hmm. That's a little bit sad. So why he's following you? Just needs to make sure that my body is okay, that I'm safe and protected at all times. Hmm.、Mm. So why he needs to be in line? Because I'm on the planet. He needs to come in with me. Oh, so he has to, but it, not not everyone can. Yeah, he has to pass through your. <laughs> so let's see. Your machine. It's now. It's his turn. No. Oh. Let's see if he can pass. Oh, <laughs> you're, you're so funny. You look at it and say, "Acceptable." <laughs> okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> but not too good. It's not acceptable. Because you don't like his intention. You don't like how he's just following me around. Because he. he He doesn't need to do. Yeah,、it. he doesn't need to do it. He's like, okay, you're you're acceptable because you need to do this, but you're not here、oh. for the reason other people are here for. Yeah. Let's see. So John is not here. <laughs> John, 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 John. John actually is. He's wearing a business suit. Wow. He's here. He is here. What he's doing? He's on the line speaking on his phone. What his responsibility? Talk to him. He said he's he's just online.、Mm, do what? To be on this planet. Oh, he just came. I don't know. He's like there's people in front of him. So every time you come, you have to pass. You have to be checked. This is the first time. First timers have to walk through the machine and get their passport. So how he knows about this planet? He says he just knows. Because I talk about him. He, yeah, I guess. Doesn't give me a clear answer. I don't know. He he says he comes here to play games with you, <laughs> like you guys gamble together. Gamble. Yeah, but it's not really gambling. You're just playing a game. He said he doesn't know why he has to pass through this TSA thing every time. He doesn't know. Yeah. <laughs> TSA. Yeah, because then you tell him, oh, because your energy is always changing. You, I'm not、uh, sure、uh, about your requirements every time.、Uh, so why this check is so important? Because. Because if you don't, if not match the vibrational energy of this、no. planet, they will not even see or experience that.、Uh, so let's say,、uh, do you see my sister? Wow, she's working in the cafe. <laughs> There's a cafe in your administration office. Yeah, well, similar to Starbucks, and she's like there, she's,、uh, serving, making, making the drinks. <laughs> and okay, one more question that this person you know,、uh, my assistant. No, not here.、Okay. Sorry. So my、uh, sis sister, she looks happy. She looks young and happy, I guess.、Mm -hmm. She's wearing the uniform. The hat, the barista, yeah. And yeah, let's see anyone you know. My dad is there. Wow. It's kind of weird. I never, I don't expect to be there. You know what he's doing. It feels like he's a part of my soul family.、Oh. Mm, yeah. He passed the, the checkpoint. He passed the checkpoint. He's just there,、mm, just enjoying the food right now.、Mm -hmm. What food? The drink from the cafe. There's a food court. Yeah. Who is、uh, working the food court? I don't know.、Mm. Just people there. Maybe not even people. Just like ETs too.、Oh, the greys. Different. I don't know how to explain. Never seen them before. Yeah. What's their like shape? One is skinny, scrawny, tall. Looks a little bit like elf.、Yeah. Others are different colors, of course. But I can't really see like too clearly. Do you know why? As I'm not meant to really find out. No, you can ask Naomi. Oh, no, Tuba. He says they're also just on vacation, just helping you out. No, they're on vacation. Just as your retreat center, Naomi. Retreat. <laughs> yeah, it feels like your retreat center. But why people need to pass the checkpoint? Makes some sense. Because not everyone can have the rights to experience this retreat. So what they do? 
uh, when they're in. I know they can rest. They rest, but then they always have to go into the pool. Uh -huh. Something about the water. They have to go inside the pool. Uh -huh. Yeah. So after the retreat, what is the change? They will feel more ready for a change, more ready to be next level. Uh -huh. They will just be feel more ready and more excited for that. Uh -huh. After you get a sense of what is to come. Uh -huh. Okay. So what is, uh, how do they come? Some cases, Alto picks them up. In other cases, it's, it's when they are dreaming, mm -hmm. they come here. Oh, so they don't have to die. The not... ones who are on, currently alive, yeah. they have to be asleep for this to happen. Mm -hmm. Now we have more places to rest. Yeah. Okay. And so Alto, you don't see him? Actually, I work here also. <laughs> what do you do? I may I I feel it really feels like I am monitoring everyone's retreat experience. Why do you need to do that? Not monitoring, but just to make sure they don't like harm your pool, make a mess. <laughs> but they don't have. Do they have? A, you know, the body is not solid, but they have a body. Some, yeah. But I also have to sort of like pull some machines. It feels like to make things happen. I don't know how to explain. Machine. What kind of machine? Um, Pressing some buttons. Yeah. Okay, they're in the pool. Okay, they're ready. Now I pull everything down. Their whole That's when their whole world falls apart. <laughs> and that's when they see. They are on stage. I am backstage oh. holding the lights yes. and then making the special effects. I think that's perfect for you. Yeah, it is fun. Hmm. Also feels like, I'm, yeah, but I'm doing them a service by yeah, so you, making everything happen. So you still health. did not earn that green fruit? A green fruit, let me ask, he said the green fruit is sort of like not for people who are inside, uh, the retreat <laughs> for people who are outside, yeah. So what people can take? They can, because if they're just lacking that little bit, they can just eat some fruit and they go in. Mm. Yeah. Interesting place. That's the, yeah, every time you ask a question, I just get the answer, it's crazy. So it's uh, like a organized? This one's very organized. <laughs> So, a very uh, long line. So in a sense, it is very gated. You can't just go in. Uh, so that's the gate. May because I feel like we we all see different things, but it's the same mm. similar meaning at least. Just like it's gated, you can't mm. you can't just go in. You have to. So after this, they can go back. They have to go back. No one here is a permanent <laughs> residence, oh. except for people who work here. They have the option. Yeah. So where do you rest? My own little pod. But this one is not very much like anything you see on Earth. My pod, yeah. It's like if I go there, I put my body there to rest. Yeah, until you get charged. And then, yeah, but I work with my energy body. Oh, that's that one. I don't know. I leave my body there and then my energy body comes out instead. Because this is the higher vibrational match versus my physical body. Oh, by the way, we need to ask vibrationally how we can understand this place as it compared with Earth. I don't know how to explain it. This place has no negative karma because the planet is alive. Mm -hmm. And also because you select only good people to come in. Okay. So it's very light, light and airy. It's not very dense. You can choose either physical or non-physical form. But they're just showing me physical, because otherwise I don't know how to explain it. But if we can, you know, we cannot compare with her? I get 23. Maybe this is like 23rd dimension versus Earth, Earth is, or it's like 23 times. I don't know. The vibration of Earth. Maybe ask Mr. T. To get out of here with the comparisons. He has a little attitude. <laughs> He's explaining, but I don't understand it. And, yeah. It's like foreign language. I don't understand. Ask him to translate into English. Comparing iPhone 1 to iPhone 17, no, iPhone 3 to like iPhone 19 or 17, oh something it. like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so he has been on Earth? He said he has had experiences on Earth, yes. Oh, do you see Alto? Not anymore. Mm. He left. Mm. So I think it's quite interesting. Mm. So since you work there, I don't have to worry about you. you you go to work every day i every work at night yeah <laughs> every time i sleep i'm even working on in your retreat and do you get paid do i get paid no you should be grateful <laughs> it's because i want to do it of course never forced mm. 
yeah much fun but i get free healing by just being yeah, it's so parallel it's so so yeah. parallel to yeah. me right now like us right now uh -huh. why you say that it's so i mean so different there's parallel as in like i'm working your retreat but i'm also getting healing you know it's like i'm working with you but i also get healing unexpectedly mm -hmm. of course very good so see you are busy while you're sleeping but it's worth it that's worth it all right so i'm gonna take you back 